What's up, family? Trier here, and we have some breaking news to share with you today. The former basketball player, Brittany Griner, has been released from Russia in a prisoner swap. It appears that some Americans are excited about this news, and then some are not. Yes, in addition to that, we have information regarding some Christmas cash that is coming within weeks for some Americans, as well as some new $145 million has been allocated for stimulus payments. And last but not least, a new bill was just passed in Congress and now headed to President Biden's desk for his signature. I've got the details to share with you today, but before we get started, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, it is true, guys. The WNBA superstar Brittany Griner has officially been released from Russian prison in regards to what they are calling a prisoner swap for a convicted arms dealer. Yes, guys, Griner was arrested in Russia back in February, and she has pretty much been detained ever since. Yes, guys, for those that don't know, Brittany Griner was arrested in February before the start of Russia and Ukraine war for bringing a vape cartridges containing oils derived from cannabis through Moscow airport as she was returning to the country to play for a basketball league in the country. About 10 months later, just weeks before Christmas holiday, holiday. Griner is officially coming back home. And yes, guys, like I said earlier in the video, some Americans are happy about this information and then some are not that thrilled. As you can see right here, guys, uh, another person that is still being detained in Russia, Paul Whelan, he said that he is greatly disappointed in the Biden administration because they have not done more to free him as well. For those that don't know, he was also wrongly accused of uh, different things in Russia in which they are giving him a 16 year sentence. And I believe that he was actually just in Russia to attend a wedding, but they are saying that he has charges on espionage. So uh, anyways, guys, Paul Whelan is also trying to get uh, President Biden to bring him back home as well, as well as his family members are trying the same as well, guys. So hopefully they'll be able to bring Paul home very, very soon, guys. And yes, guys, he is a former military person for the United States. So we definitely want to see him back here very, very very soon. Now, also, we did hear from Marjorie Taylor Greene, in which she said that President Biden should be impeached for bringing Brittany Griner back home. Yes, guys, in a statement, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene called on the president to be impeached following the WNBA's uh, exchange for a convicted arms dealer, Victor Bout. Another reason to impeach Biden, she said, the president of the United States traded Russian terrorist arms leader, Victor Bout, left a U.S. Marine in Russian jail and brought home a professional basketball player. So, yes, guys, she is pretty much making the comparison here, saying that we probably should have brought home the U.S. Marine before we bring home just a professional basketball player. But anyways, guys, that's what she said on Twitter in a tweet. And then she also put out the statement and said, look, how many people will Victor Bout now kill because President Biden set him free? But anyways, guys, like I said, uh, Brittany Griner is on her way home. She's probably already made it by the time you're watching this video. And guys, I'm sure her and her family are very excited to come back home. But then and again, guys, like I said, Paul Whelan is still a prisoner in Russia. So hopefully they get that thing figured out. I can only imagine uh, with any president, it is definitely hard to go through these particular negotiations and trying to do prisoner swaps as well as bring our American people back home safely. I'm sure that brings a lot of stress uh, during the negotiations. So I'm definitely uh, understanding President Biden making this particular decision because I'm sure he thought it was the best option as of now. But anyways, guys, just want to let you guys know that. But speaking of Russia in regards to the invasion of Ukraine, yes, we did recently hear from the Russian president. President Vladimir Putin, in which he acknowledged that the Russia war in Ukraine is taking longer than he expected. <laughs> yes, guys, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, acknowledged on Wednesday that his special military operation in Ukraine is taking longer than expected, but said it has succeeded in seizing new territory and added that his country's nuclear weapons are deterring escalation of the conflict. He said, of course, it could be a lengthy process, Putin said, of the more than nine-month-old war 
that began when Russia's invasion on Ukraine on February the 24th. And he has also displaced millions from their homes and killed and wounded tens of thousands of people. Despite its length, he showed no signs of letting up thus far, vowing to consistently fight for our interests and to protect ourselves using all means available. He reiterated his claim that he had no choice but to send in his troops, saying that for years, the West responded to Russia's security demands with only a spit in the face. So yes, guys, a uh, Russian president said that, look, he's made the right decision. He is standing by it, although it's taking a little bit longer than expected. But he also said that uh, things are escalating a little bit in the Ukraine war in regards to whether or not he is actually going to use nuclear weapons. He said that that thought process is actually increasing by the day. So anyways, guys, I hope it doesn't. I hope things uh, pretty much calm down very soon and hopefully they could end this war. And speaking of ending this war, hey, we actually heard from the American people in which this particular article talks about nearly half of Americans say that Washington should push Ukraine to reach a peace deal with Russia, according to a recent poll. Now it says that about half of the Americans, 47%, say that Ukraine should be pushed into a peace agreement with Russia as soon as possible, according to a survey result that was released on Monday. And this particular poll was conducted by the Chicago Council on Global Affairs, found that the percentage of Americans who say the U.S. should urge Ukraine to settle in part so that costs will lessen for American households had increased from 38% to now 47% in the month of November. And yes, guys, a similar proposition, 48% said in a survey taken back early November that the U.S. should support Ukraine for as long as it takes despite the potential cost of the American citizens. That percentage has decreased by 10 points. But anyways, guys, yes, that is just the latest in regards to the war on Ukraine. And like I said, guys, we will continue to keep all of those affected by this on both sides. Uh, keep them in your prayers, guys, because I know uh, with them losing their lives in this particular unprovoked war, as well as their families dealing with the loss of their loved ones, their friends, family, and different things like that. We definitely want to be mindful of that and keep them in our prayers during the meantime, guys. Uh, hopefully, you'll join me in that particular effort. Uh, moving on, guys. Hey, we just received word that a huge bill just passed in Congress, and that is on the House side as well as the Senate side. Uh, right here, it talks about the House passed a landmark bill to protect same-sex marriages, sending it to President Biden's desk for his signature. Now it says that this particular measure passed with bipartisan support in both the House and the Senate. Uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas concurring opinion to the decision to overturn federal abortion rights this summer raised the prospect of the court scraping protections for same-sex marriage and contraception among other rights as well. But again guys you can see right here in this particular image you can see the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, looks to be pretty excited in regards to passing this particular bill. You can see the sign right here that says the Respect for Marriage Act. Uh, that is exactly what this is called, guys. The new bill that is about to be signed by President Biden, guys. So again, guys, this was an effort mostly by the Democrats in which they want to protect uh, the same-sex marriages, which uh, some people believe that you should be able to marry whoever you want to marry. And then others feel like you shouldn't marry the same sex. You should only marry the opposite because that is exactly what's in the Bible. So, so yes, guys, depending on what side you are on, uh, probably doesn't matter at this point because they just passed this bill with a bipartisan vote. So again, guys, that is what's going on there. But moving on to some stimulus update news, guys, we do have right here were Akron has earmarked about $145 million in COVID stimulus funds. And here is exactly who it will go to. Uh, right here it says that the city of Akron is ahead of many nearby cities in that it has already approved how it wants to spend its $145 million in the American Rescue Plan Act. Yes, though the projects 
have been approved throughout the last year, city officials gave a presentation detailing how the ARPA dollars will be spent early this week. Now, the largest funding category was around $48 million for parks and public places, followed by $26 million for housing. Other large categories included $15.6 million for utility bill assistance, as well as utility maintenance. And then they had $10.5 million for surveillance, police, and violence prevention grants, and $10 million for employee premium pay. So yes, guys, one of Akron's standout programs is around $20 million for home repairs, which is twice the size of an ARPA funded project by the much larger city of Cleveland. Other projects including parks, recreation centers, and much, much more. So anyways, guys, they have just allocated all of the money right here, the stimulus funds that was provided to them. Uh, we are still looking for other states and local cities to let the American people know how they are are planning on allocating that money as well. Me, myself, I live in the state of Texas in which we are still waiting to hear something from Governor Greg Abbott on how he plans to use this money as well. But anyways, guys, that is just the latest information on this for this particular uh, Akron. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope some of you live out there. But then last but not least, guys, we do need to talk about some Christmas cash. And yes, it says right here that bonus payments worth $500 are now hitting bank accounts of thousands of individuals starting last week. Yes, guys, it says right here that bonus payments worth $500 are hitting accounts of thousands of people, and this started on uh, December the 1st. Again, bonus cash is set to go out to thousands of needy families during the holiday season. Uh, these particular payments are worth $500 and are being distributed by the Tennessee Department of Human Services. Uh, those participating in the state's Families First program, also known as the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or better known as the TANF program, will be eligible for the bonus checks coming in time for Christmas. Yes, guys, this is definitely some good information because Tennessee Americans are planning on receiving some Christmas cash, and that is in the amount of $500. Now, it does say that keeping up with the demands of the holiday season can introduce additional hurdles in caring for children, such as accommodating school breaks, providing extra meals, and so much more. According to the commissioner, uh, this particular one-time boost in financial assistance is intended to help families first participants overcome these temporary hurdles, positioning them to start the year off strong in 2023. And yes, guys, the goal of this particular program is to provide needy households with essential needs, including temporary cash assistance, child care, educational support, job training, employment activities, as well as transportation and other aid as well. Now, in order to be eligible for this, you need to follow the guidelines of the personal responsibility plan. And the, here they are, guys. Number one, children need to get immunization shots and their health records into their system, as well as children must attend school regularly, including kindergarten. And then thirdly, they must abide by child support requirements. And then lastly, they must work or attend employment preparation activity, assuming not exempt from from it. So again, guys, the exact income limits in Tennessee for the program aren't clear as of yet, but the TANF program is available in each state as the federal government provides the stimulus funding. So again, guys, yes, Tennessee is projected to receive $500 stimulus checks or what they are calling some Christmas cash, which is coming directly in time for the Christmas holidays. So this is definitely some awesome news to see right here, guys. But anyways, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the links down below because they offer you some great opportunities for you to receive some free cash, some free money, or even how to receive 12 free stocks from Webull after depositing just $1, and those stocks could be worth up to $3,000. So if you are interested, hey, those links will be down below. But anyways, guys, hey, if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.